Hey guys, Aaron Cybertron Zhang here, and today I'm back with another episode of Road to Ranked, where I climb the online BGC 16 ladder and provide live commentary as I go. It's been a couple of days, so I do apologize for that. If you've not seen the best of three set that I uploaded against Baz Anderson the last couple of uploads, definitely check that out. I'll link game one in the description below definitely check out Baz as well really really cool youtuber his channel will also be in the description below so i'm going to continue to use the mewtwo team that i built a couple weeks ago just for a little bit more and then we'll probably switch to something brand new i uh, haven't been too focused on pokemon recently just in general it's uh, almost the end of the semester for me here at college so i have a couple weeks to grind out but i will do my best to provide content and once summer break starts we'll be doing a lot of exciting things i also wanted to just say a quick thank you the channel is now at over 49,000 subscribers which is pretty amazing honestly uh, so th thanks to everyone, whether you're new or old to the channel, and we're really, really close to 50k. Uh, once we do get there, ha should have some pretty exciting stuff planned as well. So yeah, tell your friends about the channel, you know, spread the word, let's get to 50,000, and we'll have a lot of fun. So yeah, thank you guys for continuing to support me and my content, and uh, sorry it's been a couple of days, just I've uh, been pretty hectic, want to end the semester as strongly as possible. And uh, right now it's kind of the downtime for VGC, uh, once... You know, school ends, actually, regionals, like, picks up right away with spring regionals. And I'll actually be at Seattle and Massachusetts, so if you're at either of those regionals, definitely come and say hello. I'm looking uh, forward to competing at both of those tournaments and uh, further solidifying my world's invitation to hopefully day two this year. So, yeah, just going to jump on the ladder finally, and we're going to find Perso from the U.S. with a rating of 1508. Our rating currently is just 1614, so I really want to make that push until the 1700s, and then uh, maybe we'll switch to something new. But Perso here has actually got a really interesting team of Rayquaza, Gengar, Whimsicott, Kyogre, Raichu, and Gastrodon. So a bunch of things stick out here. I think definitely the dual Mega option with Gengar and Rayquaza. The Gastrodon is the one Pokemon that really draws my eye here. Uh, not going to be too much of a threat in terms of... Actually, it could be really annoying with Rayquaza and Kyogre on my opponent's side. So uh, it's a pretty interesting option there. Ferrothorn is fantastic here if I can avoid a overheat from Rayquaza. So I think the goal of this game will be to just knock out Rayquaza and go from there. Um, also I gotta kinda ask which Mega Evolution I wanna bring. I'm leaning towards Salamence just for the speed advantage and because it allows me to set up Tailwind. So I think I'm gonna go with Salamence and Mewtwo with Ferrothorn and Groudon in the back. Uh, Mewtwo is actually quite nice here because it can set up Gravity for Groudon, it can also just Ice Beam to knock out Rayquaza, and since I'm faster both before and after Mega Evolution, and Salamence can, you know, Tailwind to match Whimsicott's Tailwind, got a bunch of options here, so. I do like that, and I think I'm going to lock in, so we'll see how this game goes. Like I said, Ferrothorn's really, really key in this matchup. If I can knock out Rayquaza, then Ferrothorn essentially wins. Uh, nothing on my opponent's team can really deal too well with it. Uh, of course, Kyogre's Water Spouts, Origin Pulses, and Ice Beams all do... 40% at maximum, and with Leftovers and Leech Seed, that's easily recoverable. Uh, Gengar can't really do too much other than disable it. Maybe Shadow Ball, but uh, Gengar isn't a huge offensive threat. And uh, Raichu and Whimsicott are obviously used as support Pokemon. So we're actually going to see the Raichu Gengar lead here, which is a lead I'm kind of familiar with. You may remember we did use that combination back when we were using um, Bear not Barry's team, Jamie's team. And let's see. Oh, and I think I forgot to mention, as always, if you enjoyed Road to Rank, please share your support by leaving a like on the video. Would really appreciate it. So seeing Gengar makes me wonder what item it has. Raichu sometimes has Focus Sash, but we did see that it has the Air Bloom there. He could go for something like a Fake Out Icy Wind, a Faint Icy Wind. Those are all viable. I could switch out, honestly, into uh, my Ferrothorn right away, which would be kind of interesting. I kind of like that option, honestly. He doesn't have any great switch into Ferrothorn, and if he switches into Rayquaza, I can potentially Gyro Ball that slot. The question is whether he has Will-O-Wisp or not. But I think I'm going to switch out into Ferrothorn, and I'm going to protect in case he goes for a, a Fake Out Shadow Ball into Mewtwo. So really just scouting out for what my opponent is going to do, since Gengar has a bunch of different moves it can use. Uh, Raichu can too. My opponent could potentially like faint and Shadow Ball Mewtwo, which would be a really good play. But no Mega Evolution coming out from that Gengar. He actually just goes for the Icy Wind, so that's good. Didn't want Salamence to take that extra damage, and that actually helps Ferrothorn's Gyro Ball damage output, too. Does 21 damage there, but easily healable from left Wars. Uh, he actually goes for the Volt Tackle there onto Mewtwo, so... Uh, pretty interesting information there to gather. And I'm okay with that. Hmm, let's see. Both of these Pokemon are kind of threats. Icy Wind plus Volt Tackle will knock out Mewtwo at this range. So... I think I'm just gonna Gyro Ball the Gengar and Psy Strike Raichu. He's staying in with both too, which is a really interesting decision. Uh, I'm okay with that, unless he's got Shadow Ball here. Yeah, and the reason why I went for Psy Strike is because Raichu's defense is so poor. It just picks up the 1k KO, which is excellent. 
He's just launching another icy win, which I'm okay. Uh, unfortunately, it is going to break Mewtwo's Focus Sash, but Ferrothorn can obviously take that pretty well. And presumably, we're going to see Rayquaza come in for my opponent, but Mewtwo right now putting in work just because of how fast it is, and that's one of the reasons why it's viable in this format. Not seen too often, but the speed there is just tremendous. Uh, being able to outspeed Rayquaza, Landorus, and Salamence, and you can ice beam all of those, obviously. Uh, you say here that it's faster than Gengar and Raichu, which are both used for their speed in this format. So uh, things are looking pretty solid right now. Haven't really taken any damage other than Icy Wind. And I'm glad I switched Salamence out that first turn. Uh, avoided any damage and just put the momentum into my favor. Uh, so we're going to see Rayquaza come in here. Not much of a surprise. Hmm. Let's see. So Rayquaza's probably going to want to overheat me. You know, I could just Gyro Ball and Ice Beam Rayquaza. Eh, but I think double... I could also protect Ferrothorn and switch out here, which is what I'm leaning towards. But then he can get... Um, the other thing is, I could want potentially for Delta Stream to be cancelled out with Groudon, so I can Ice Beam for a win at KO. So I could play it safe here and double protect. Which I think I'm going to do. Yep, he is going to make over Quaza. Good. Just playing. There's no reason to go aggressive right now. Uh, and since my opponent now does make over Quaza, I can switch out into Groudon and Ice Beam their Quaza's thought. Also, want to see whether he has Shadow Ball on Gengar or not, because if he does, he can actually just Shadow Ball Overheat for a double knockout here. The reason why I didn't want to switch is because I didn't want to switch into an Icy Wind, and I didn't want to switch into get, uh, Groudon because then he has Delta Stream up. So, I uh, could have attacked there, but I decided to go with the safer option. He actually has Disable! Wow, interesting. He goes for the Dragon Ascent. That's another really good move to see. <laughs> uh, the Disable there is also, yeah, very, very helpful to know. Now with that... Just gonna go for the Gyro Ball into Rayquaza. And I think I'm actually just gonna try to knock out Gengar, because if I knock out Gengar, then I have the Weather Control with Kyogre presumably in the back of my opponent's team. And he's gonna Dragon Ascent here, okay. So maybe I actually should have targeted down the Gengar slot here with Gyro Ball instead. But I was afraid maybe he switched into something like Kyogre. Gets a crit there, but that doesn't matter too much. Let's see if he has Life Orb. Um, he does. Okay, so let's see if Gyro Ball is actually enough to knock it out. I don't think he'll be able to. He goes for the Destiny Bond. Wow, really good move there. So this Gengar is just full of tricks, but fortunately enough, I haven't walked into any of them. So that's helpful. So I'm going to get this Gyro Ball off against the Rayquaza. Doesn't pick up the knockout, but I'm okay with that. Uh, him not having overheat... I mean, it looks like he doesn't have overheat either, which is pretty good information. This gives me a perfect opportunity to just switch out into Mens. And uh, I think I've got my opponent in a pretty tricky position right now. As I'll be able to just Mega Evolve. I'm going to pull the double protect play once again. Mega Evolve here. And then Salamence's speed is going to be pretty darn high. I can just Hyper Voice and Ferrothorn in the back. Like I said, want to knock out Rayquaza here. That's the main goal. Uh, and the Gyro Ball onto Ferrothorn actually could have been kind of deadly because my Groudon's fast. So he actually could have won the game there had I Gyro Balled Gengar. So that's actually a super close call. I wasn't even considering Destiny Bond, but yeah. So double Protect here. Gonna block out any potential attacks from my opponent. He's going to reveal the Overheat. Okay, so he does have it. And he's going to Icy Wind here once again. So uh, Gengar having Icy Wind... Destiny Bond Disable. Don't know what that fourth move is. Probably Sludge Bomb. With that, I'll be able to just Hyper Voice and I'll Power Whip the Gengar slot in case he switches out. Don't think my opponent can do much anymore now that Salamence is Mega Evolved. He's going to protect Rayquaza, which is the smart play. Yeah, just going to get the Hyper Voice off. I think my opponent might have to hope for a double protect now as I'll be able to knock out Gengar here. I mean, even if Gengar, like, got an Icy Wind off there, all I'd have to do is switch out to negate that, and then switch the Mence back in. And that's why I brought Mence as my Mega Evolution in this game, as opposed to Gengar. Uh, both are really cool options on this team, but uh, Mence, you know, is used mainly for its speed in this format, its ability to intimidate and spread damage quickly, whereas Gengar is more, like, to trap your opponent in. And when you're going against heavy hitters like Kyogre and Rayquaza, you really want to just, you know, Mence outspeeds both, which is kind of a big deal here. So, uh, he's going to bring in Kyogre now. If you're my opponent, you probably go for the double protect play on Rayquaza and Ice Beam. So if he gets the double protect, and I miss Power Whip.
Hmm, I could tailwind to ensure I not outspeed Rayquaza. No, I think I'm just gonna power weapon Hyper Voice here. Oh, he didn't even go for the double. Okay, yeah, so that ends up working out. So Hyper Voice picks up a knockout onto Rayquaza. And power Whip, even if it misses Kyogre, it doesn't pick up the knockout. Obviously, my opponent can't win at this point, so I think he kind of had to go for the double protect, or maybe my opponent was hoping, hey, my opponent ha might be predicting the double protect, so hopefully he, like, attacks Kyogre with double edge, and then I can get a dragon ascent off, as I do miss the power whip hilariously enough, but uh, obviously I played this game knowing that I had Groudon in the back, so uh, Mewtwo definitely putting in a lot of work in this game, just picking up the knockout outright onto Raichu and putting on pressure the entire time. Uh, once again, that's why Mewtwo is able to flourish in some games where it outspeeds, uh, and in this case, you know, outspeeds Rayquaza, Gengar, Kyogre, Raichu, so I think Whimsicott would have been a pretty interesting factor for my opponent to bring. Uh, you know, I was actually kind of scared of Gastrodon just because with Airlock, you can easily just switch out into your Rayquaza and get a water type attack off. But uh, my opponent ends up not bringing it. Here's Press of his play. It's going to be single target. Uh, you know, Kyogres nowadays typically are a little bit defensive, but this one, actually a critical hit there. So uh, picks up the knockout, and we do pick up a pretty convincing win in the first game of today's episode. So good game to Perso there. I uh, really would have liked to see the Gashard on there since it's not a very common Pokemon in this format, but uh, still well played in general. I think I just uh, had a pretty good lead matchup. Uh, Mewtwo was obviously phenomenal here for putting on pressure, and uh, it's one of the Pokemon that, you know, really makes you think twice about leading with your Kyogre. So uh, leading with that was super helpful, and my opponent not switching out the Raichu or the Gengar, letting me knock out Raichu for free was also kind of surprising. Uh, things also could have gone kind of poorly if I just took the Icy Wind turn one. And the Volt Tackle, though I say one plus Volt Tackle wasn't even a knockout onto Mewtwo, so yeah, I could have just like Hyper Voice Side Strike that first turn as well. But we're gonna find Matt from England for our next opponent of the day. Let's see if Mewtwo can do some work again. Uh, also, a kind of similar team here, three of the four of the six same Pokemon, excuse me, uh, with Rayquaza, Kyogre, Gengar, and Whimsicott. But this time we see a Ferrothorn on my opponent's side, which I'm okay with, and a Sableye. Sableye always being one of the most annoying Pokemon, especially with this team, which. Probably uh, should have a Lumberry user or two. Maybe I should put Lum on Ferrothorn instead. So, kind of similar. You know, last time we had Gastronon and uh, Raichu. This time we've got Smeargle on Ferrothorn. I don't mind the Salamence Mewtwo lead. I might just go with the same Pokemon, honestly. I mean, it's kind of a similar strategy from my opponent here. Once again, if I eliminate the Rayquaza, Ferrothorn can win. Uh, although this is a little bit trickier because my opponent has a Ferrothorn on his side as well. So that'll be interesting to see how that plays out. But I have answers to Ferrothorn. Even Ice Beam does a fair amount. You know, Groudon obviously with Eruption being the best answer. But Salamence is Hyper Voice Dented as well. Uh, Gengar can't do too much against it. Nor can Landers other than Intimidate. So for that reason, I'm not bringing those two. So let's see what Matt's got up his sleeve. Uh, definitely got a pretty cool team. You know, the Rayquaza Kyogre combination is obviously very popular. Um... Actually hasn't seen as much success that I think most people would have expected it to, especially over here in America. But I know it's done well in Europe. It's, um, it's, you know, obviously not to count it out in America either. Uh, we're going to see the Smeargle Gengar lead here, which is very scary if he is Scarf Smeargle. If he's not, then I get the speed advantage. But if he is, he could just Dark Void immediately. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Once again, I can switch into Ferrothorn here. But this time, I think I might just go for the attacks. I think I'm just going to Hyper Voice and Psy Strike. The question is, who do I Psy Strike? Do I predict Smeargle to protect? I don't know. I feel like it would be Scarf on my opponent's kind of team. And if it's Scarf, that's fine, because if he misses, then, you know, that's already a good start. But even if not... I'll target down Smeargle here. If he Sash, then... And he doesn't... And he's Mega Gengar. Interesting. So he's not going to be Mega with Rayquaza. I wonder if he's got Shadow Ball then. This game could be decided off the first turn depending on what my opponent does. I'm expecting a Scarf Dark Void and either a Protect or a Shadow Ball into Mewtwo. Or an Icy Wind. There's the Protect from Gengar. What does Smeargle do? Are we seeing the double Protect here? Oh, he is Scarf. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Uh, the double avoid coming out. Of course, I did double up onto the smear goal just to try to knock it out. Uh, Tailwind there actually could have been helpful, but I do have to apologize to my opponent for that one. Um, um, honestly, like, even if both connected, I would have been in a perfectly fine position because I would have taken one turn of sleep with both, and the next turn, Gengar can't do exactly too much. 
So I played that knowing even if he was Scarf, like Gengar's most likely protecting. But, you know, that obviously sucks for my opponent. Like, But that's what you have to deal with when you run Dark Void. Uh, so Kyurga's going to come in for my opponent here. And, uh, yeah, looking a little bit rough for him right now. Because what I can do is set up a Tailwind here with my Salamence. Huh, though, yeah, it's still definitely not over yet. Definitely don't, you know, want to kill my opponent out. I could also double up into Kyogre. I'm actually leaning towards that right now. Uh, I'm not as scared of Gengar. Especially with the Focus Sash on Mewtwo. So I'm going to double up. Even if Gengar protects, that's fine. But, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty lame way to start a game. Uh, obviously, you know, I don't root for Dark Void. <laughs> Even though, I, I, not root for, I mean, I, I have used Smeargle before in this format. It was on my winning regionals team. That was mainly more to actually block other Smeargles through the use of Crafty Shield. But, I mean, that's the thing with Scarf Dark Void, right? Like, that's why Focus Sash is a more popular item on Smeargle. Because even if you miss your Dark Void, it's, you still put yourself into the game. It looks like we actually don't see the Protect coming out from Kyogre. So I might be able to just pick up the Knockout here. Uh, that actually did less than I expected. It's going to go for the Shadow Ball into Mewtwo, though. Yeah, I'm surprised. Actually, Mewtwo, I think his base speed is faster. Let's see if Double Edge knocks out Kyogre. It does pick up the knockout. Great. So, you know, uh, free knockout there. Not as scared about Gengar's ability to trap me in now. We're probably going to see Rayquaza come in. Yep. Uh, maybe I could have just side strike Gengar there. But him not being Mega over Quaza also helps out. Yeah, I, I, like I said, uh, the first game could, like, most like not most likely, but had a very good chance of being decided in that first turn. Unfortunately, that was the case. Uh, actually, it's still not over. You know, don't want to cut my opponent out quite yet. But uh, it's going to be an uphill battle for sure. Mm. I think I'm just going to take this opportunity to set up a Tailwind. And I'll just side strike here, forcing him to extreme speed. Probably going to just Extreme Speed Shadow Ball. One thing to always consider on Gengar's end is if it has Hidden Power Ice, because we've seen Gengar's run Hidden Powers more recently. Uh, it's Life Orb Quasa as well, which is good to confirm. Here's the Sludge Bomb. Should have knocked me out, even with the Poison. Yeah, I'm going to get the Tailwind up. But uh, it actually would have knocked me out there with the Poison, so doing a little bit more than I expected, but that's fine. But like I said, now you're just switching Groudon. So yeah, this game basically... Like, there was very... Little chance my opponent could have won after that first turn, especially since he protected Gengar. Um, I don't know. But like I said, even if Dark Boy double connected, then the following turn you switch Smeargle out. You give both of my Pokemon a chance to wake up, and Mewtwo outspeeds. You know, Mewtwo and Salamence outspeed both Rayquaza and Kyogre. Especially because he made the decision to Mega Evolve Gengar as opposed to Rayquaza. So, uh, you know, it would have been interesting to see how it played out since... You know, if Dark Boy double connected, which, you know, is a 64% chance, so not exactly the worst. And I, like, it would have been... I think for my opponent to win this one, I would have had to hit, had multiple sleep turns on all my Pokemon, and he would have had to hit all Dark Voids. So now I'll just Hyper Voice and Eruption. You know, you probably protect Gengar here and Extreme Speed Salamence, but even if that's the case, Eruption will do a hefty amount to Rayquaza since... Uh, actually, technically, Airlock is still up, so that's interesting. Uh, but since it's not Mega Rayquaza, you know, Eruption is doing more. He is going to protect Gengar smartly enough. I'm just burning the Tailwind turns right now. Oh, he's not even going to go for the uh, Extreme Speed. Interesting. I don't know. I think Extreme Speed would have been the play there. Oh, that Eruption really didn't do very much, though. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that just happened, guys. Guys, I should have predicted Surf. <laughs> wow, I should have uh, Fire Punched the Rayquaza as well. Um, <laughs> well, I, I can still win if he doesn't have a Fire-type attack, but presumably he has to have a Fire-type attack on this Rayquaza. So now I have to hope he misses uh, Overheat. <laughs> surf Rayquaza, guys. See, that's what I mean. My opponent is not out of the game, even with the Dark, dark Void double miss. <laughs> um... Here's a Shadow Ball coming out. So if he misses Overheat... Ah, uh, Shadow Ball actually yeah, crits there. Oh, wow! I actually would have won the game if he didn't crit Shadow Ball, too. Most likely. 
since if you don't crit the Shadow Ball, Rayquaza knocks itself out from Life Orb and Iron Barbs. I get the Gyro Ball into Gengar, and then I get the Recovery as well. If Gyro Ball doesn't outright pick up the Knockout. So that, my opponent didn't have Overheat as well. Uh, that might have been a game-changing crit there, since it was normal Life Orb Rayquaza. <laughs> but, uh, eh, that's, it's alright. It's all in good fun. Like, I, if I were in an actual VGC tournament, I, I might be a little bit tilted from that, just because of the, uh, the Surf, which was about the last move I expected on the Rayquaza. And, uh... Lack of overheat. Maybe my opponent had overheat, but he didn't want to risk missing, which would make sense. Um, if anything, what I could have done better in the late game there was just dub Hi Hyper Voice and Fire Punch instead of Eruptioning. Uh, I really thought Eruption would do more there, honestly, and my opponent had just enough to hang on from the Life Orb, so uh, I don't know if it was a damage or not, but yeah, I was not predicting Surf and kind of got punished for that, and like I said, uh, even though I thought I had won the game, you know, your opponent's never out of it, and you should not count your opponent out of it. Uh, Although I am curious as to whether that crit in the end mattered. I think it actually might have. So could have been interesting. I mean, probably not actually the more I think about it. Because it depends on whether Gyro Ball would have knocked out Gengar or not. Uh, Ferrothorn's decently offensive. So that's kind of what it boils down to. Since, yeah, Rayquaza knocks us out from Recoil. And uh, Ferrothorn hangs on with the sliver of HP. And then gets the Gyro Ball off against Gengar. If not, then it probably uh, would come down to protect games. So whether I can heal enough from leftovers or not. But <laughs> that was uh, not how I was expecting that second game to go. But uh, pretty cool to see a good comeback from my opponent. Really well played. And uh, yeah, guys, expect Surf from Rayquaza more often. <laughs> anyway, uh, actually, yeah, wait, no, he, he couldn't have over. He had Dragon Ascent, Extreme Speed, Surf, and Protect. So he, uh, yeah, actually needed that roll in the end, I think, most likely. Uh, it depends on how bulky his Gengar is as well for the Ferrothorn Gyro Ball damage. But yeah, great game to my opponent. That was a really interesting match. And uh, yeah, got a little bit careless maybe in the end, but Surf isn't something you expect to see on Rayquaza all the time. So uh, that's going to be it for this one. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, peace.